Hello everyone, welcome to Illustresa. So uh, this is the fourth lecture of this series of uh, fundamentals of structural analysis. And in this lecture, we are going to discuss about free body diagram and static equilibrium. So uh, you have already got an idea from our previous lecture about the free body diagram, but today I'll be uh, clarifying it more. So uh, suppose let us let us take an example. Let us take a line or it's a beam suppose okay and we have pin support here okay and we have roller support here correct and what i have done i have applied some weight or load on this which is a point load sum okay so if if uh, we find out the uh, reactions at this point suppose this a and b okay, if we replace these supports with the equivalent forces here so what we will get what we will get how will be the uh, scenario so if we see from here we are getting this is my point a this is my point b i have an applied load of w in unit okay now if i just replace the i mean the supports sorry the supports with the equivalent forces then here this pin support we know it is uh, you can say restricting the movement of this point a along vertical axis so here we will get a force it is restricting the horizontal uh, movement or horizontal motion so we will get a force here also okay but it is not restricting rotation so we will not get any moment here correct right in case of roller support it is restricting only the motion of this point along vertical right because it is allowed to translate and it is rotating also so here if you see what we have done what we have done suppose we are uh, uh, i'm writing the axis here suppose this is x and this is y so i can say this is my a y this is my a x and this is my b y so when we have replaced the supports with the equivalent forces then this diagram with the load and the equivalent forces equivalent to the uh, supports uh, uh this diagram we call it as you can say free body diagram so this is the system with supports okay and this is system with equivalent forces at support location right so these are basically the equivalent forces of these supports correct so this diagram this diagram we actually call it as this diagram we call it as free body diagram i think it is a together free body diagram okay we also call it in shortcut we call it fbd okay free body diagram so if we take another uh, if we take another uh, example suppose we have a beam like this so you know we have this fixed support okay and here also we applied a load w so now if i want to replace this with equivalent forces so what we will get now here in this point a in this point a we know the vertical movement is restricted the horizontal movement is restricted so i am putting the equivalent forces and also the 
the rotation of this point is restricted right so for this load the equivalent force will be like this correct so if i if i write it here so suppose uh this is my a y this is a x and this is my m a so we have replaced this support with the equivalent forces and in this corner we will have only vertical restriction or vertical uh, constraint so it will be b y correct and don't forget to put the load because when you are drawing the free body diagram it is including the load and the equivalent forces at the support load. so this is the free body diagram of this particular condition okay i hope it is clear so this is the free body diagram f b d correct now if we take another example suppose what we are doing what we are doing you can sorry draw uh, let us cut these things here and suppose this is at location uh, c Okay, this is the location C. Okay, this joint where we are cutting this beam and where we want to see cutting means it's not we are not separating it, we are cutting a cross section to see the internal forces being developed. Okay, so if we see from here, that means the condition is like this. If I draw it again, okay, the condition is like this. Okay roller support b here we have the load applied w correct okay by no let me cut it for easy understanding for now let me cut it some somewhere is my C. So I'll just draw it here. Okay. So this is my C. Okay. Fine. So how we'll be getting the internal force here? Whenever you are cutting a cross section, you need to consider it as a fixed support. Okay, so now if we replace the first the supports with the internal uh, sorry the with the equivalent force that's this A, so we got this uh, you can say A Y, we got this A X and we got this M A right, we got this force here W. Now in this point, what we will get? In this point, what we will get? See, for due to this load, how the bending will be? It will be like this, right? It will be like this. So here, at this point, the bending, the internal force or internal moment which can bend this beam like this. So this easily like this, correct? And then we have a downward force, right? We have a downward force, and then then as it is connected to the other part so there will be a horizontal force also at this point like this so if i say this is my so these are not reaction forces these are my internal forces right so suppose this is my cy okay this is my cx and this is my mc correct now if i take the other part Okay, I need to replace it with equivalent force. So here it will be B Y. Okay, now it is it it is it is bending something like this. Okay, so here also it is bending like this, right? Downward. So if you want to bend it downward, so what you have to do? You have to have a internal moment like this, right? And then as this force is downwards. So now it will be upwards, right? It will be upwards. 
so it is my now here it is cy it is mc and there will be another force c okay am i right fine so so when in this case so if i in the third condition so this is my free body diagram correct so now in any condition you can draw the free body diagram by replacing the supports with their equivalent forces right it can be internal force or it can be the support right now in each case if you just follow though we are not going to i mean uh, uh, you can say calculate these things in deep in depth in this particular session but if you see just if you want to have a look in this particular cases here in the first condition here in the first condition if if this structure need to be stable if the structure is stable if we, we consider that the structure is stable so in this case this w this w should be equal to ay plus by right if the w is greater than ay plus by then this this beam will fall right this beam will fall so it will not be stable right so if this structure need to be stable this w should be equal to ay plus by this ax should be zero because there is no other applied force no other applied horizontal force in this particular beam or in this particular node right so this ax need to be zero otherwise it will not be stable right as there is no if if the ax is uh, if there is any value of ax that means there should be any another force due to which this ax is being developed right but here as there is no such force no such horizontal force applied in this beam so in this case this ax should be zero if you see in the second case so what we are saying that w should be equal to ay plus by ax should be zero okay in this second case if you see in the second case uh, again w should be equal to ay plus by ax should be zero right and to 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 make it stable right to make it as a stable structure and if you see this ma it should be it should be equal to there should be a resistance force of right there should be a resistance of this ma so it should be equal to it should be equal to if you see this ma is being generated by this distance w into this w into this distance correct so it should be equal to this distance into by so here it is creating a moment like this and this by multiplied by this length suppose l and this is suppose something a so if we do by into l okay this ma is equal to ma is equal to w into a okay should be as is equal to by into l v y in 12 right so when these are equal and if it if it as it is opposite direction you can see this force is upward so it will be created like this so this the ultimately it is it is going to be zero then i mean the the difference is going to be zero right like if you add these two difference i wouldn't say difference if you add these two as these are of opposite direction ultimately it is going to be zero right so so from all the cases what we understood that if all the internal forces even even in this case also you see this moments are opposite to each other but equal it should be opposite to each other and equal otherwise this point will not be uh, you can say you cannot satisfy this point because this point is a it is not a i mean we are, it is not separated it is a 
point which is connected to each other so if there is any force being developed and we are separating it okay then in this case it should be opposite and equal otherwise otherwise what will happen this will be two different uh, 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 you can say quantity enti uh, entities right so to make it a stable structure we need to have i mean to to make it uh, what should i say this internal uh, uh, hinge if i say or the internal point if we want to satisfy this then we need to have an equal and opposite forces and moments so in this case also you can see these are opposite and equal to each other even this already we have solved here right already we have solved here so in both the all the cases we will we will discuss it later also uh, as of now you just understand that all the cases summation of all the forces we are finding zero then only it will be stable summation of all the moments if it is zero then it will be stable so what does it mean what does it mean that whatever load we are applying the reaction what we are getting if the structure is stable then those will be cancelling out each other so that means the system is in equilibrium okay the internal and the external forces are in equilibrium with each other okay so if it is equilibrium in each other so that condition we call it as static equilibrium because the loads are static okay so this is what we call static equilibrium okay so all the summation of all the forces and summation of all the moments will be zero if the structure is stable right so the structure is stable means the internal and the external forces are in equilibrium so that means we can say the internal let me write first external external and internal forces are in equilibrium so as these are equilibrium then we can say it is a state it is a stable structure so the stable right okay so so this is what we call actually this is what we call static equilibrium we will uh, go deep into it in our next lecture so whatever query uh, may be arising now in your mind okay we will be answering it in our uh, like I, like you will be getting your answers in our upcoming lectures all your queries i know there will be many queries many questions many doubts being uh, you can say developed in your mind while watching this lectures maybe uh, by seeing these uh, uh, you can say what should i say these statements okay the the word stable okay so what is stable how it is stable right uh, what if it is in equilibrium or not stable so we will we will see these cases actually so all these things all these doubts will be cleared when we'll be i mean uh, we'll be coming up with our next lectures okay so one by one step by step we are uh, proceeding with our lectures so so if you have questions you, you can always write me in the comment box okay and but i believe in our upcoming lectures you will get all the answers of your questions or queries so i hope now uh, you can you can draw free body diagrams for any system uh, if you if you provide and you can understand whether the system is in equilibrium or not okay so this is it for this lecture uh, i will see you in the next lecture again i as i said you can always write your comments or your uh, suggestions your queries in the comment box uh, we will try to take up those uh, in our upcoming lectures and in our upcoming lectures it is for sure all your queries will be shared thank you and see you in the next lecture